We just got some major updates about the Apple Vision Pro. Also, Meta just made some very strange updates. My name's Lordy. Without further ado, let's get into the video. On June 5th, 2023, Apple announced that it will be dabbling in spatial, spatial computing, computing, also known as virtual reality and mixed reality. This was when they announced their brand new headset, the Apple Vision Pro. We knew for a while that Apple was going to get involved in the headset market. But during their announcement, we got a look at the headset, some of its specs and what it's actually capable of. For more information about its specs and what it can do, definitely check out this video where I compare it to the Quest 3. But the Apple Vision Pro went viral after its announcement due to its very hefty price tag of $3,500. And all we knew was it was going to release sometime in 2024. Well, today, German Cities, a reliable source who gave many details on the Apple Vision Pro before its announcement, has said that production in China is ramping up massively. And the units will be ready in January and be ready to be sold in February. Also, Apple Store employees will be training for the Apple Vision Pro in mid-January. Apple wants its in-store demos to leave customers mind blown and leave a great first impression. We also now know that the Apple Vision Pro will only be available for purchase in the US starting in February and it will be coming to more undisclosed countries later throughout the year. Some of the countries include the UK and Canada as the first countries for the international market with a Asia and Europe soon afterwards. We also got a heads up that it will only be sold in Apple stores. So you will not immediately be able to purchase it at Best Buy or any other third party tech retailers. Now Apple have said it's the most complicated system that they have ever worked on due to its wearable form factor and high specification. Also, as Sony is the only company that manufactures 4K micro displays, they're only able to create half a million units per year. So as soon as we get more information on the Apple Vision Pro, I will keep you all updated here on this channel. So maybe consider subscribing is free, please help. Our next story comes from Meta on their Quest Pro. Similar to the Apple Vision Pro, the Quest Pro can track your face as well. An example of this is what we saw in the Lex Friedman interview with Mark Zuck. Well, they have now added the ability for the Quest Pro to track your tongue in its version 60 update SDK for Unity and Native Code. Meta has now released a new version of its face tracking OpenXR extension, which allows for tongue tracking. You won't be seeing any of your favorite applications using this functionality soon. However, Steam VR beta already supports the tongue tracking for pro users across Steam Link. So for all of my VR chat users, Enjoy. And our final story is a short one, but Asgard's Wrath 2 now runs at 90 hertz at a higher resolution on the Meta Quest 3. And the reason this wasn't available before was because of throttling, but it is now available and it's turned on by default. So if you wish to turn this off, make sure to go ahead and do so. That's it for this video. Subscribe to stay up to date with the latest VR mixed reality and spatial computing news. My name's Lordy. I appreciate you. Much love and peace.